Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, the arms of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson. Um, I'm going to entitle it The Day of the Lord. It's going to come like a thief in the night because uh, there's uh, a lot of things what's going on and um, what's not being you know brought forth you know on uh, you know your regular social uh, news platforms or your uh, you know there's a lot of things that's uh, then they're, they're not really pushing you know on your everyday news and uh, so we have to watch as well as pray so uh this is second peters 3 and 10 but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and all that and all the works and all the works that are therein shall be burned up right so uh you know this is you know ultimately you know when you look at what happened uh you know, with Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know, during, uh, you know, World War II, you know, with a little bomb and little boy, right? And, um, you know, that, you know, that great devastation, you know, what happened over there in Japan, you know, and uh, it was like a scroll, right? Um, you know, with like, you know, like they call it the mushroom cloud now, you know, and, uh, you know, now it's going to be a whole different type of destruction you know which is going to be uh you know you know they're going to be um like nuclear fires because not going to be atomic you know like the radiation is going to be and like a nuclear cloud you know they call it a uh, dark winter you know and uh you know and uh you know it, you know these people you know they're already warning you people that um you know if there's gonna you know there's uh there's gonna be a world war three coming you know and they kind of had um you know certain certain thing i was watching uh last year they were talking about oh um you know in case of uh there's a world war three uh, if there's an if there's an attack you know in america you know to go inside you know you know but uh doesn't matter how much prepping and stuff you know um you know there's gonna be a, a complete uh that destruction on the land right because it's, it's already written right um and, you know, when you read on um, that revelation uh i believe uh eight I'm just flowing in the spirit and I'm gonna see where the Rakakwadash is gonna lead because um we're approaching you know the third wall right so that means that uh you know that a lot of things is gonna to have to happen Uh, nine and I get eleven. Revelation nine and uh, I started at twelve. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. So we know, you know World War One, you know, which have been, uh, you know, from like nineteen ten to like uh, no, from no, from nineteen fourteen to like. 1918 1919 you know whereas uh you know great war you know that was uh, on the land here in america but not not just america but it's a global war you know and um you know it uh stretched you know stretch uh vast you know you know throughout europe and you know and basically, you know, World War II, you know, with, um, you know, the Germans, you know, and basically, um, you know, the, the Germans were defeated, 
you know, and uh, a lot of the scientists, the German scientists, they came to the Americas. Some of them went to Russia. Some of them went to uh, South America. And um, they're, uh, you know, they're heavy into, uh, you know, things, you know, even the CERN and all that. You know, that's, uh, you know, they're heavy into uh, their scientific study, you know. And that was, uh, you know, that that's their gift. The Heavenly Father blessed them, you know, that with that gift, you know, with uh, the atomic bomb, you know. You know, little boy, little, little like the like the big boy and and, the, and fat boy. You know, if you read about that history, you know. But um, you know, there's gonna be a great destruction, you know, on this land. And uh, right now, things are very quiet. You know, uh, we know that something's gonna be, something's coming up. We don't know what, but we know that. You know something's coming up and uh, right now everything's very quiet so second Peter 3 and 10 but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the element shall melt with fervent heat also also look at and the works and the earth also and their works that are the area shall be burned up, right? So, uh, you know, your vehicles, your homes, you know, cause, you know, um, you know, you know, one, you know, that one missile, you know, uh, we know that, you know, Russia, they have um, Satan one, Satan two, you know, that, uh, you know, that, you know, that one of these missile could cause great, it's gonna cause great destruction, you know? So everything, what, Everything's gonna be, you know, burnt to a crisp, man. You know, so uh, the Lord's coming with, you know, a whole, whole, a whole a host of, uh, you know, missiles, you know, and along with his angels, man. Seeing, seeing then that all those things that shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness, right? So we got to, you know, stay in our, you know, holy conversation, you know, going out there, you know, highways and byways, you know, making our in-classes, you know, our live streams and um, just edify and feed the flock, right? Until, uh, until when, you know, like we won't be able to be out here. You know to warn our people because we're pretty much uh you know the doors of mercy is, is uh getting closed right now right before our eyes looking for and ha looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the of yahweh wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat you know, so this is gonna be uh, a great destruction, you know, and um, you know, you know that we're hoping to be delivered, to be saved, because things are gonna change in the blink of a, you know, like, you know, when the angels come and after this third world's war, you know, um, you know, it's gonna be uh, the great war, you know. So that Michael and uh, it says Michael and and and, uh, and his angels, you know, if we could find it, Michael, because it's gonna be a great destruction, man. Okay, Michael, I think Revelation. Uh, Revelation, twelve verse seven. The angel. The angel Michael, right? You know, we know that Michael, which means uh, who is like God, right? He's the chief angel, you know, who's uh, over, you know, over the earth, you know, and who's, um, you know, he's the he, like he's the highest archangel, you know, and uh, these things are gonna get so bad that the, you know that the Lord's gonna have to bring Michael. You know, as well as uh, the other, uh, 
you know the other archangels you know Mike Michael uh, Uriel Gabriel and Raphael who's gonna have to uh, stand up you know for the children of 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 of, uh, of Israel for the elect because uh, you know they're gonna bring out their horns um I was also watching a video let me pause this one second yeah, this is for educational purposes. I'm gonna just play this quick. One second. The liquid and back again using magnetic fields. Now, where have we seen this before? Well, this Lego-sized escape artist is a far cry from the T-1000. The tech that it's made from was, till recently, signed called a magnetoactive solid liquid phase transitional machine. This malleable material is made by embedding magnetic particles in a metal called gallium. Gallium melts at just 29.8 degrees Celsius, and by using induction, engineers can control it more precisely than ever. The escaping robot is just one of several tests conducted by the research team involving engineers from the USA's Carnegie Mellon University and the Chinese University of Hong Kong. They also showed the slippery stuff being used to safely remove a foreign object from a model of a stomach and deliver medication. In engineering, researchers say it could perform tiny soldering jobs remotely or harden into a universal screw. Heebie-jeebies aside, what else do you think this tech could achieve? If Boston Dynamics robots give you the creeps, wait until you see this. Engineers have created a little humanoid robot that can transform from solid to liquid and back again using magnetic... Yeah, so, you know, like, this is, uh... You know, this is when you read the in law, we're gonna get it. You know, you know, like um like this is you know, Esau's, you know, and the wicked, you know, not just these Edomites, these other nations, they're involved, you know, because they are heavy into uh you know, the whole alchemy and you know and satanic, you know, occult type practice, you know, like that they do. You know, and um you know, and they're actually you know summoning spirits and doing all kinds of shit you know so uh we said reverse not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness in high places you know so uh we're in serious times you know there was a war in heaven michael and his angels fought against it, the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels right so this is uh you know nato you know the so-called uh you know the former you know um you know pagan rome you know that uh they were so vast you know but they fell and now they're risen back you know back in their power you know with uh, the treaty of rome you know with uh the european union you know and uh, the european union is like the is the financial power you know of uh you know of europe you know and um nato you know their uh north atlantic treaty organization you know with uh is their military you know that uh stretches all the way from canada the u.s um you know you know basically uh you know these you know throughout europe you know and um you know, and they have a st very uh, strong stronghold, you know, on the earth, right? And we're under uh, these Edomites, you know. You know, we're under these Edomite supremacy, man. So uh, we need, you know, the, after this war, this third world, third woe, you know, that Lord, uh, he's going to have to bring Michael, you know, and his angels, man fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found anymore in heaven so this is gonna, it's gonna take the lord only one hour man one hour you know for uh you know for him it's gonna take the lord only one hour you know and uh so everything what they want to build and they want to accomplish is not going to happen. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of sightings of UFOs. I'm going to play this quick. There's no audio, but just watch. So, 
so there's a lot of siding there's sidings you know um on uh, on you know like on the land you know in the water you know of uh the ufos you know as, as what they call it all right and uh we know that these are uh you know the chariots of israel you know the chariots of god you know who's uh you know because they you know the chariots you know the angels they always been here from you know like from the beginning you know and uh one second so jeremiah it's genesis uh three Genesis uh, 3 and I started at 22 and the Lord power said behold the man is become as one of us to know good and evil All right so the angels you know they're the ones who orchestrated you know this whole uh, you know this whole society that we live in you know along with his uh, his his uh, angels you know his uh his elect, you know, who, uh, you know, who establish, you know, um, you know, everything that we he have here on earth, right? To know good and evil, to, um, and know, lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever, right? So, you know, when we're going to eat the tree of life again, you know we're gonna be as gods man and we're gonna live forever you know we're, we're not gonna die we're gonna be just like uh you know our heavenly father his son the angels you know so uh we had to go through uh this you know that we had to go through this uh this life you know these many lives that we that we were living you know in our past lives till now so that we could appreciate the tree of life you know because uh, the elect are gonna uh, are gonna be superman superwoman therefore the lord power sent him forth from the garden of eden all right you know the, the garden you know which would be in uh you know israel all right and basically um you know and the lord power sent him forth from the garden of eden right so he was he like he was driven out you know from that region you know to till the ground from then whence he was taken right and basically you know we're uh, scattered through the whole entire uh you know we're scattered through the east west north south you know the, uh, you know that where uh, you know the israelites are scattered you know some of us are speaking different tongues, different dialects. Some of us are going to, you know, some of our people are going to look like, you know, these heathen, you know, like these East Indians, you know, like the like the city people, you know. Um, you know, you know, we're uh, scattered. All right. So uh, the most high, he's going to he's going to build us back, you know, because basically, you uh, you know we're still under the curses so just like with this you know how adam he made uh you know he was uh, you know he had to go through the thin the thick you know like the thistles <laughs> you know you know things that uh he did he did because uh you know he followed uh eve you know and then he you know he uh he started to do uh you know the ty types of uh you know things atrocities or uh, you know like you no know, like things on the left hand side you know that we weren't supposed to uh practice you know that he was uh doing until when the lord um uh, you know until the lord had to sit down with him yeah, and uh he drove and he drove out the man and uh placed them and placed and he placed at the east of the garden of eden um cherubims and flames 
and a flame sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life so the angels they always been here you know uh, you know they call them the cherubim <laughs> So it doesn't matter if you want to, um, doesn't matter like, you know, with their technology, what they have, you know, uh, the angel, they have higher technology, you know, and, uh, and they're all going to lose, you know, second Ezra is, uh, 13. Yeah, the cherubims, the car. A karwab, a karwab cherubim, an angel, angelic being, as a guardian, a guardian of Eden, right? So, Aidan, this is, it means paradise, or Aidan, right? The earth, right? A flank, flanking uh, power's throne, an image hovering over the Ark of the Covenant, yeah, the chariot of Jehovah's figure, yeah, so. So the angels, you know, they're always been here, you know, watching over us, right? And um, we have uh, Michael, you know, Uriel, Raphael, Gabriel, you know, and, um, you know, and the, the Lord, you know, Mosai, he sends them on missions, you know, to... Uh, you know, this is you know, this is a most I show, so he, he sends them on on, on missions and uh, that's it, you know. And basically, uh you know, like that's why the Lord Yahweh he's gonna have to come and and gonna have to have to he's gonna have to deliver us, man, because it's gonna get so bad. Uh, Revelation 7 and 1 And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth Holding the four winds of the earth That the wind should not blow on the earth Nor, the, nor on the sea Nor on any tree And I saw another angel ascending from heaven Having the seal of the living power And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servant of our power in, in their foreheads right so the you know so the the ones who he's gonna be sealing is the elect all right you know and um you know we're almost at that time where you know, the Lord, the Lord, you know, he's going to bring out a lot more destruction, you know, on the earth, you know, and, um, you know, so we got to, uh, you know, you know, keep our, our, our garments clean, white, you know, try the, you know, you know, try, you know, even though uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags, but, uh, you know, um, this is just a short, you know, lesson, um, didn't really plan on, uh, I didn't really plan on, uh, you know, this lesson, but, uh, hopefully this is edifying. So with that, let's see all praise do unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hope members of the elect, Shalom.